dun, 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 dun. Those are the actual lyrics. Dun, 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 dun. Our next presenter is one of the most popular actors and comics in the world. He's played a pompous airhead, a good old boy, a childlike elf, and George W. Bush. So. So basically the same character. In addition, he will soon be seen in the new Land of the Lost. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Ferrell. I had no idea. I had no idea it was so dressy. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, my brother and I would curl up on the couch with a blanket and a bowl of Count Chocula <laughs> and watch TV. On Saturday morning, there was only one show we were going to watch. The no, the McLaughlin Group. <laughs> Everyone in the industry knows they're a hard get, so, uh, so they're not here today. <laughs> but as soon as that show was over, we'd turn to insane lizards, dinosaurs, and monkey people. <laughs> to me and to tens of millions of others, those words can only mean one thing, the wonderful and weird world of Sid and Marty Croft. These two brothers were television pioneers and innovators. From their landmark kids television series in 1969, H.R. Puffin Stuff. Yes. <laughs> Through the 70s and 80s and until today, they have proven that strange worlds with vivid colors and bizarre characters can exist and be experienced even without dropping acid. <laughs> We all have our Sid and Marty Croft favorite shows and characters from the superheroes on Electro, uh, Electro Woman and Dinah Girl to Ranger Rick Marshall and Land of the Lost, who will soon be seen again in theaters near you and then undoubtedly garner an Academy Award for some lucky actor. <laughs> for over five decades, the Crofts have shared their vision, their artistic genius, and the amazing worlds they created for television. Let's take a look. some friends to help out, like Clint Black, Cindy Lauper, and Barry Williams. So, you want a tribute, Sid and Marty Croft? After everything you put me through, here's your tribute. Super 
forgive me. It gives me great pleasure to present the TV Land Pop Culture Award to C.A. Marty Croft. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. That took my breath away. Um, I, I don't know what to say, because they told us that they were just going to show clips. And uh, I didn't know that this was going to happen tonight. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, Walt Disney told us in the 60s to always put our name on top of everything that we produce because someday it'll be worth something. Well, this is the day. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank TV Land for this great, great honor. And I'd also like to thank all of our fans that stuck with us all these years and took all of our shows with them. Of course, the biggest thanks goes to my brother. He's nothing less than a genius. Wow. So, first of all, I'd like to thank Larry Jones, who's the head of TV Land. And his boss, Doug, is sitting here. <laughs> and you know, TV Land, we love TV Land. You did real good for us. This is a great award, and we really appreciate it. But you know, I really need to thank the thousands of men, women, and kids who contributed to all of our success, because without them, it would have never happened. <laughs> you know, we never, ever, ever gave up. You know, and if we give up, I, I always tell people, if you give up on Tuesday, there is no Wednesday. So, because we didn't give up, on June the 5th, you can come see Land of the Lost. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up, Terry Hatcher presents the Future Classic Award to Two and a Half Men. Plus, we've got doctors in the house. The doctors of ER, the doctors of MASH, and Dr. Phil. Hey, TV Land. More stars, more fun, more TV Land Awards to come. The 2009 TV Land Awards is presented by Stouffer's Corner Bistro Flatbread Melts. No Stouffer's.